Hello class, in this video we are going to start a uh, new assignment and it's drawing elevations or uh, what the building looks like you know looking at it outside these are exterior elevations and for this assignment we will have two drawings we will have two elevations this one on this side is the south elevation and this one uh, is the east elevation you can download them from uh, Vanco Hall the online learning tool uh, you will be drawing everything you see will be what is due for submission so I'm going to start by uh, setting up this similar to how we created sort of a, a base to draw from for the floor, second floor plan from the first floor plan. We'll be do something similar. We, we, we want to make sure the key thing in all of this, the first key thing, is that the elevations exactly match the floor plans. So we, uh, we need to do some work in AutoCAD just to make sure that they match, or really what I should say, to make it easier to make sure that they match. And just like setting up the second floor plan, for those of you who might know a lot about AutoCAD, there is a lot of different ways of doing it or slight variations on this. This is what I think works well both for this class, the level of students, and for really thinking about AutoCAD more as a design tool than a construction document tool, which it is more and more becoming. So uh, yes, but there are there are variations to that. So anyway, I, I have this file. It's the same file we've been working on. The first floor plan and the second floor plan are here. This is where we ended with the second floor plan so I'm going to click back down into model space and I'm going to get rid of this roof here don't don't mind me just uh, pretend that wasn't there that was something I pulled aside for the previous video but your file should look something like this a first floor plan and a second floor plan up here like this and the first thing I'm going to do in this video no drawing of elevations just setting things up and so just like when I did the uh, a second floor plan, I made a couple of copies and pastes and made things in the blocks to help me just sort of organize the drawing. I'm going to do something similar now. Uh, so I'm going to go to this copy clipboard arrow and go to copy, which is this button here. Select the entirety of the first floor plan and click enter. Then go back up to this arrow here and go to paste. I'm going to go to the paste arrow because I want to paste this block. Just again, that just does it so it's... Um, just one unit because I'll have to manipulate these a bunch of times so making it one consistent thing is sort of nice and easy now we just uh, I'm not gonna worry about changing layers for this though um, you know I'm gonna actually actually will change the layer but I'm gonna put it on layer zero this time that's what I'll do is put it on layer zero um, I don't need to put it on a special layer because it'll be outside the drawing field so we won't need to turn it on and off and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the second floor so I'm gonna copy this thing I'm going to go back here and then go paste, paste as block, and just for now roughly paste it up here. I'm just I'm basically just recreating off to the side what I've done over here. There's a reason for it, and it'll become clear as we go through, but this is the base uh, of the drawing. And I want to make sure these things are perfectly aligned. So I'm going to come up to like an edge or a corner that I know aligned between the first floor plans. I'm just going to draw a guideline straight up and then move the second floor plan to align with the first. And we have to remember that that one corner sticks out on the first floor. So this wall on the second floor aligns with this little notch here on the first floor plan. Once I've done that, I can then erase the skyline. I don't need that currently. Um, and I, so I, I just recreated what I got over here, except for they're in blocks. Now, the reason why I did that is because this is easy. This is going to be the front elevation. It's going to be right here when we start drawing it. But I also want to prepare, or I should say front, it's also the south elevation. That's what we're really going to be calling it for this assignment. But we're also drawing one of the sides, which is we're going to draw the east elevation. And I want to get that set up as well. And that is not, that's basically the same thing. I just have to make a couple tweaks. And the thing to note about drawing exterior elevations, um, you want the side that you're drawing to be facing down on the drawing. Um, now I draw my elevations below my plans. You could you could draw them above, but you're still having the wall you're drawing on the downside. So the face elevate the place I'm not drawing is on up. And so if I want to draw this side, the east side, I have to make that face down also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by copying these two plans to get that set up. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to copy it over, and I get hit enter to end copy and I'm going to rotate these so that this face is down so I'm gonna to go to my rotate tool I'm gonna to do this one at a time just for simplicity and I'm gonna hit enter pick any base point doesn't really matter and I'm gonna pull down and make sure my make sure I'm snapped straight down and hit and click to make sure that this face is down because now I can draw down and draw this elevation down here and I want to do the same with the second floor so exactly the same thing hit rotate 
click the plan, hit enter, any base point will do, and rotate. Now since I probably didn't pick the same base point for rotation, again I want to make she sure these two plans are perfectly aligned. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to draw a quick guideline. I'm going to pick line, pick some corner that I know is consistent between the drawings, draw up, click enter to end the line, and then move. You can see I got close, but I'm not close enough at all. Uh, hit the move button, select the second floor, hit enter, pick a base point along that line, which is this corner in my case, and, and make sure I have that wall perfectly aligned with that wall. So they're stacked one on top of each other. And so now that this wall is down, I can draw that elevation here. And I know that's a, a bit abstract, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump over to this drawing, which is actually the finished completed work. And it's got even future assignments in here uh, that we'll look at briefly. Here's the floor plans all finished. You're going to get to dimensioning too, but but again, that's later. Um, but here's the two elevations we're working on today. So we can see we've got the first floor plan, the second floor plan, and below it is this elevation. And then right beside it is the next elevation with the floor plans above here uh, rotated with the face down. And then in sections, we'll do the same thing. Again, we'll talk about those in another video. The nice thing about this method is I draw straight down for the plans to get widths exactly. And then once I have one elevation done, I just have to draw across this way and down this way to get all the dimensions here. I won't, don't even have to worry about them. They're all sort of already there if, if I've drawn it correctly. Um, and so that's the reason why we do this to make sure our plans are exactly the same. So I'm going to jump back to the file we're working on and um, I'm going to end this video because it's an important setup that you should do. Take the time even if you have to pause the video, rewind the video to make sure you do the steps correctly. You want to be at this stage before moving on. The next video I'm going to talk about layers which is also very very important so I still won't be doing much drawing but pay attention to that video coming your way.